Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. Uh, it is a Tuesday afternoon and it has been quite a wet day today. It's not too much of a bad day. Yeah, I didn't get too wet, which is always good, because nothing worse than being wet at work. But uh, we're about to bugger off home. It's that time of day where we are seeing evidence to work, so we're going to be heading off home. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a long drive, me thinks, especially with this rain around, because a lot of people intend to be a little bit crazy when it rains, so I need to be a little bit careful. So without further ado, guys, let's go. Uh, so we're about halfway through. Traffic's moving pretty well at the moment. Thought I'd duck in and grab myself a little cold drink. It's uh, one of my favourite new drinks now, guys. It is Monster Mule. That's what it's called. It's exactly like drinking a ginger beer. It's, uh, it doesn't taste anything like uh, an energy drink at all, but it does give you that kick that you need. Certainly, certainly decent in the morning, especially if you've had a not a very good night's sleep. You need to get yourself moving. That's usually the one I, I go for. Works bloody wonders, guys. I tell you what guys, it's a bit of a bummer, I wasn't recording a couple of seconds beforehand. I had to just quickly go into that little building right there for personal reasons. Thought I'd come down and have a look at the local river, see how it's going after all the rain that we've had the last couple of hours. It doesn't look like it's too bad. It's a little bit murky as you can see. As I was saying guys, I kind of wish I was recording a couple of seconds before because I was walk into this building just here, massive clap of thunder came along, <laughs> I ducked for cover. I wish I was recording that, I tell you what, it would be the funniest blooper in the world. And this right here is a prime example on how much we've had on today's little effort because the drain goes all the way, all the way there. But that is having a bit of a fit on how much it's trying to get down. You can just hear the water going down. You know, I've been thinking about it. This weather is actually perfect for a ghost hunt. It would absolutely be fantastic if the wind was reasonably low and the rain wasn't about. I don't mind the thunder, I don't mind the lightning being around. It just gives a little bit more to the atmosphere. Because there is a couple of places that I would absolutely love to do an investigation in, especially having a storm around lightning, thunder, rain. One, number one would be a hospital. There's uh, two reasons. I've always wanted to explore an abandoned hospital and I've always wanted to do an investigation in a hospital. Second on the list would have to be an asylum. That's right guys, an asylum. I've been to one, I've been to the uh, Ararat Lunatic Asylum uh, a couple of years ago. That was an interesting sort of walk around. And yeah, they all, I would absolutely do two reasons for that. I'd love to explore it for one, and again, do an investigation of the place, just see what we can find. Third thing would be perfect to an investigation in this sort of weather is cemeteries. I would absolutely love it. Get the GoPro going, or me other little action cam, which is waterproof, Panasonic because that's also infrared, which is handy. Get that set up, hit record, go out, do the investigation. The only problem about that though, is it doesn't have a screen on it like, like this camera does, or the other infrared camera that I've got. It doesn't have the 
of the screen so it's a bit hard to see where you're going unless you've got like a little dim light that you can use to sort of see where your footing is but you can always use the Panasonic if I need to especially if it's a nighttime investigation or doing it outside it'd always be handy to have that on you that one does have a green tinge to it instead of the like the grainy grainy white that the other one does I really wanted to have a camcorder just so because of the screen but um, I really need to invest in a proper uh, IR camera I like camcorder but the problem is they range anywhere between 800 to <clears throat> nearly two thousand dollars I don't have that sort of cash behind me kind of wish I did because I'd end up going and buy one a proper one and getting the proper <clears throat> carry case for all these cameras because you know this big bag I've got it doesn't do too bad but it does get a bit um, a bit heavy on the back yeah it's that sort of time at night guys that we need to get moving I'm not far off home but it is about 5 30 in the afternoon I just uh, wanted to see how this river went and admire the weather just for a couple of moments before we kept going because once we get home we're going to be sitting inside doing next and sweet fa so i just want to have a quick little five seconds outside and have a bit of a chat with you guys sort of downfall of having all this rough sort of rain guys as you can see that tree behind us that one right there is called a woolen tree reason being is because the leaves feel really soft and woolen but unfortunately if there's too much rain they get what's called yellow root so basically their root system rots out from the inside out and basically just falls over and dies like that and unfortunately we do have another one just over here as you guys can see right there that's also not doing too well that's the second one we've had there we've had two big trees like that size there as well but it also didn't do too well. Oh. So guys, it's been a few hours since we were last on. We've uh, had our dinner and everything else. Just enjoying some little cup of tea before we go to bed. But there is one thing that I wanted to try out for this afternoon. Just a little theory that I wanted to try out for myself. After it rains and storms, I want to see if it really amps up anything. So, tonight, in the next 10 or so minutes, I'll be playing with this. That's right, guys. I'm going to be playing with the spirit box. I'm going to have it on AM instead of FM. I'm going to have it on reasonably quiet. That's probably about that loud. I'll bump it up to about 20, so it's reasonable sound. Guys, I just got to have me to move a couple of things here around so we can get you guys a little bit closer so you can aren't as far away. There we go. Moving, 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 moving. There we go. A little bit better. I'll have to turn that up just a little bit more. That's as loud as it goes, unfortunately. I don't want to put the whomping speaker onto it. Is there anybody here tonight wishes to speak? 
I don't know what it is, but I thought I only thought that the SB11 spirit box got that weird tone. It's like a really weird tone of like the It's only on AM, it's weird. I'm gonna try this uh after in a minute just to make sure it's not on that as well. Really weird, really weird indeed, guys. That's a very weird sort of thing, that. Alright, let's try it on FM. If you guys hear anything, put it in the comments down below. Because I am half deaf and I can't really hear that well. Warning. Right. You know what I'll do, guys? I think it's time to go and get the speaker out, I think. Alright, there we go, guys. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, probably be perfect. Is there anybody that wishes to come through? Does the storms and rains and electricity in the air really charge you guys up, give you the energy that you need? Is that theory true? Can you say true if it's true? Sort of sounding like true in an orchestra sort of voice. Can you say it again if it's true? Next one. Okay. 
Hello, my name comes through twice, Sam. Is it true that at 3 a.m. you guys come out a lot more? Is that true? A lot of different voices coming through. Can't we make it what the same? What's up? Not much. Thank you for asking. Right, that was the first ever voice that I heard that's clear. Especially going over a couple of frequencies like that. Like I said guys, if you guys hear anything that I don't speak or put up on the screen, put it down in the comments. That was weird. Speak is not up. Oh, needs a bit of a charge, uh, unfortunately. I'll do a couple more minutes of this and then we'll uh, stop it. That was just the radio. Now open. Well, thank you for coming through to all the ones that have come through. We're going to put this away now because the speaker needs a bit of a charge. Thank you for coming through. No problem. Thank you. We'll uh, speak soon. Well, that was interesting, guys, I must admit. That was a unique, unique experience on its own right there. I've never really played around with this all that much. I've usually just played around with the SB7, uh, SB11 Spirit Box. And <clears throat> I don't know, it's. I don't know which works better if it's the SB11 or the SB7. Um, to be honest with you, I, I'm sort of used to the SB11 Spirit Box a little bit more than this. Um, simply because I usually like to have the aerial turned off so there's not as much interference coming through the device to as you would have heard a lot of voices have come through i must admit guys i was actually quite surprised we heard the things that we heard um it's a good little practice run with uh, using this sort of setup i'll openly admit um something like this you definitely have to be careful of i will be praying i did should have done a prayer before but forgot, but I'll be doing, definitely doing one once we have done doing this. 
So I'll quickly run and put that on the charge for a little while and um, we'll go from there. Well, it was certainly interesting to see what came through. I'm going to have to definitely listen to the audio when I play it back through the editing software to see if we anything came up or not. But I did vaguely hear a couple of things throughout, but I'm not 100% sure. As I said, guys, if you've heard anything in that little session, put it in the comments down below, and we'll listen to it together. It's that sort of time of night, guys. I'm going to have to say goodnight. I really just wanted to do a little experiment with the SB7 Spirit Box just to see if it really actually was true about having a storm come through and see if the energy was really amped up. So it was a good little experiment, I must admit. Went for about 10 minutes, as I said. So, well, as I said, I'll definitely listen to the audio back and see what we can find. So, guys, we're going to say goodnight. And until the next time, guys, keep it easy.